Hey Sagittarius, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. So trick or treat, happy Halloween. We're going to be looking at what your treat is, what is coming towards you that is good. So let's go ahead and get a card to see where we're starting at. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? And we have the crown chakra, beautiful, the unlimited self. All right, let's see what the book has to say about the crown chakra. Number nine. Okay, so it's talking about devotion, inner guidance, visionary inspiration, Fathoming beyond the mind, enlightenment, connection to the universe, and life force energy. The crown chakra is your link to the multidimensionality of your being, the seed of your soul. It gracefully connects you to the heavens. The infinity symbol of limitless appears within the unfolding petals and points to your most potent potential. Here you can delight in the divine strands of light that dance with us when we are aligned with spirit, purpose, and truth. So to restore it, you need to be present and flowing without rigid outcomes. Find more spaces in your life. Find your own way to meditate. When you are distracted, you are living on the surface level. Explore the state of flow and be receptive to the intuitive messages you may receive. So I'm definitely getting that there will be some intuitive messages, some downloads that are going to really bring a lot of positivity and strength to your life and to your spiritual connection. So this is big. This is the unlimited self is being able to um, not put boundaries on your life as far as what you can attain, what you can hold on to, what you can manifest. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have feel joy in all you do. So again, this is about finding the pleasure in all things. And um, even when we're going through challenging situations, sometimes we need to recognize that we're meant to learn that lesson. And it's only going to um, inspire us to keep going forward, right? Keep persevering. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have discovery. So I definitely feel like this is all about discovery. And what I'm getting with this in particular is the discovery of a spirit guide, someone that is directly speaking to you, that has wisdom that you need in order to um, ascend. I feel like there's something where you are going through an activation of sorts. So let's go ahead and see how this is playing out for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. And we have the Ace of Coins. Beautiful. So huge potential, the seed of potential. I feel like this could be a new opportunity in work or in relationship. This could be a commitment of some sort, a proposal. But it's definitely something that is... It may be small now, but has the potential to be huge. All right, so what else do we have? Okay, and we have the Ace of Cups. All right, two aces. So definitely a time of new beginnings for you. New beginnings in love, something that really brings fulfillment. I feel like this is not, it's telling you not to limit how much you could possibly manifest and and it's telling you not, not to limit yourself to who and what you can be as far as who you can be with, too. What's the challenge here? And we have the Hierophant. So I feel like this is, the challenge here is about commitment. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like there is a need to commit yourself to self-discovery and finding joy in all you do. So I feel like this is first finding joy within yourself. What do you have to be happy about? 
and then moving from there. This is also about deepening your connection with the divine here. And I feel like these challenging, the challenge here is this commitment or the, um, the old belief system that you need to let go of that doesn't serve you. What does serve you from this old belief system you keep and what doesn't work you let go of. What is the advice from spirit? And we have the five of wands. So there's definitely some internal conflict that needs to be overcome. I feel like this is these things that are limiting you. You have way too many boundaries or rules or things that um, are keeping you stuck in a certain programming. And it's about letting those things go. What is the outcome here? And we have the Knight of Wands. So really being able to put your whole heart into something and go, go towards it. Definitely believing with all of your heart towards something. This could be whatever brings you passion. This could be what brings you joy. But it's like 100% focus and moving quickly toward what you want. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this could be soulmate energy. This could all be about your soulmate, discovering your soulmate. It's like when once you discover this truly divine person within you, then you can start aligning to the divine partner that you desire. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. Show me this Ace of Coins. So it's like a new job, a new relationship. Could be both since you have ace of coins and the ace of cups with the knight of wands so i feel like there's definitely something where you are just getting this brand new beginning if you're in a current relationship i feel like this is where you are blessed financially and and your it relieves stress to make room for um, renewing the relationship that you're in giving it a new vibrancy all right, what is this Ace of Coins about? And we have the Four of Coins. So you're holding too tight onto things because you're not understanding that things can be unlimited. You feel like there's this finite amount that you are allotted and that you can't work harder, that you can't manifest anything better for yourself. So it's blocking your blessings. What is this Ace of Cups about? And we have the eight of coins. So I feel like this is, it says acquiring expertise. So I feel like this is really getting to know um, something that inspires you about your partner, about yourself. What? How are you inspiring others? But otherwise, this is about really learning to find joy even in the most mundane of jobs. Really finding your joy within your current circumstances and mastering that current circumstances and then moving on. Learning everything that you could possibly know about that. What's this Hierophant in the challenge position? And we have the Ace of Coins again, so twice. So it's definitely big money around this situation here. So new abundance. I feel like letting go of your old ways of doing things, your old traditional ways of doing things is going to um, bring in more money, more opportunity. That's what I'm getting here. Show me this five of wands. And we have the Knight of Wands again. So you have the Ace of Coins twice and the Knight of Wands. And it says fearless action. So this conflict inside is poisoning you. So this is about letting go of this fear or this conflicting fear of your ego trying to protect you from things that might hurt you is also protecting you from things that might bring you joy. All right, show me this Knight of Wands. There's always risk involved, always risk. And we have the Four of Swords. So this is this is about getting that rejuvenation, rest, rejuvenation. Um, it's like earned rest. So you earned this rest. You need this rest. You need to take the time to meditate, to connect with the divine, especially with this crown chakra. And I feel like that's what's going to bring you this soulmate energy, bring you back to the to good memories and. The possibility of making more 
At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Yes, lovingly complete. So I definitely feel like this is what your major hope is, is to really be able to share all the love and fulfillment that you have with another that is aligned with you. This could be family, friends, um, whoever's closest to you. All right, what guidance do we have? What guidance do we have for Sagittarius? And we have listen to your intuition. So I definitely think that that is where you're going, you're going to receive these downloads and it's like, it's going to process through you and your intuition is what's giving you the message of where the divine is trying to guide you. And we have a secret admirer. So this could be your soulmate. I feel like the secret admirer, I feel like this is also could be you or your current partner. I feel like this is really about seeing something beautiful and inspiring within yourself or within another person. Let's get one more. And we have Twin Flame. Yeah, that soulmate card with Twin Flame. I feel like this could be where you finally are coming together with who you call your Twin Flame. I say it that way because everybody defines Twin Flame differently. So, um, you know, if this means something to you, great. If it doesn't, then just disregard it. Otherwise, it's just, it's a soulmate that you signed up to learn lessons with. All right, so the bottom of the deck, we have temptation. So I feel like this is a factor, temptation. Really getting to know what tempts you and takes you off track, detours you. All right, so those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.